What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lauren and this is my channel, Laura's Leaves, where I talk about my houseplant collection. So I'm thinking today, I am gonna take you guys around my house and just kind of give you an update on a few things. I have planted some seeds. I've started some things in my greenhouse. I've gotten some new plants. And I actually just did an unboxing yesterday. I did film it. So I think I'm gonna insert that clip in here somewhere and do some plant tasks around this house. And I wanna take you guys with me. So let me roll that clip of that unboxing that I did. There is a cat on my plant mail. I don't think that's for you, mister. Let's open the box. Hey everyone. I got some plant mail. My cat is no longer bogarting it and taking it hostage, so I'm gonna get this opened while I can. I have a knife here ready. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this video. I might turn it into like a plant chores video. I've always wanted to do one of those. They just kinda seem hard. <laughs> Just being honest, when I have plant chores to do, I usually just do them. So this video may or may not be a mosh podge of things, but I don't know, I don't wanna show my address. Here is a wishlist plant in this box that I've wanted for a long time. I've wanted to add this specific plant to my collection. I found it on Facebook, you know, everyone's stimulus check hit. And let's be real, those Facebook plant purge groups were going hard, so. That was so easy to open. It was one cut. <clears throat> oh, and there's a little sticker. Cute. It says a thank you. I love that touch. That sticker is cute. I'm loving that. Here's the plant and the seller told me, I think her name was Crystal. If you're watching Crystal, Krista, I'm excited. She did pack a bare root and included the soil. That is really cool. I've had sellers ship things to me bare root before, even though it was already potted up prior and they did not include soil. So I think that's really nice. So I just wanna get this open so I can get it potted back up. I know exactly where I wanna put this plant. I'll give you a hint. It's a Hoya, it's a Hoya. And it's been on my wish list for a long time. Surprisingly, these are kind of hard to find, at least around where I live. And even online, I would say they're not the easiest to find. But here it is, do you know what it is? Do not mind my animals going crazy in the background. Sorry. But here it is. Oh, there's Chopper. Hi, buddy. You like it? I like it. It's fuzzy like you. Here it is, Ahoya Linearis, ladies and gentlemen. A whole lot of it. And some soil to pot it up in. So that's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna end this little clip here. I will get this potted up today and I will show you guys its new home once I get it. Once I get it put where it needs to go or I want it to go. See you guys in a bit. You know guys, sometimes you guys make it hard for me to film videos. Lord. <laughs> Save us, Chopper. So that was my Hoya Linearis. I'm very happy to have it. And I did already pot it up. I've had it for a day now. And I got it potted up. I got it hanging up. Let me show you. Now it's gonna be really, really, really backlit, but here it is in my little man pot. Here is my skeleton key, Tribune Moonlight. This is so backlit. Mm 
the black velvet alocasia that Tom bought me is finally pushing out a new leaf. Hopefully this one will not fall off. My Ludicia is not doing too hot, but I think this is just dying because it's putting out that growth point. This side looks good. I have plans to put her in a terrarium soon. So I have one thing that I've been wanting to get done. I'm in my messy as heck bathroom, but here I have some Raphidophora, Raphid, Raphidophora tetrasperma cuttings. And these have been in water for at least two and a half months, three months. And as you can tell, there is not a lot going on. So I want to get them in my prop box, but it doesn't look like it, but it needs to be sprayed down. The moss is kind of dry. So we're gonna do that. Well, I moved. This is just like a little greenhouse or a little terrarium dome thing. I just used a Tupperware bucket. Um, my friend Lindsay does this and it works really well for her. So I decided to try it out. This, however, is just, my regular sphagnum moss prop box. And I haven't really checked on it in a while. So let's check on it. These begonias are doing awesome. Begonias are one of my favorite thing to propagate. You can just set it and forget it. And then it grows like you don't necessarily have to make sure that the as long as it's slightly damp they will grow so well if they're in this enclosed environment some of the other cuttings i feel like they need it a little bit more wet moist sorry guys but in order for them to do better it needs to be a little bit more wet in here and i forget sometimes sometimes i forget to let it air out and sometimes i forget to add the moisture back in and spray it down every once in a while here are some Scandapsis Splash cuttings, some Hoya Carnosa, some Peperomia Incana that I don't think are gonna make it. There is a little Syngonium Chia Pence down there, some Micans. I do not have very good luck rooting Micans in water or in moss. How about you guys? I don't always have the best of luck. Here are some Pink Princess nodes trying to get to root some rooting hormone on it but yeah i'm going to take these raphidophora tetrasperma cuttings and put them in moss i like i said i've had them in water for over two months and they're not doing very much at all but these cuttings are not doing much this one has a little root but look the new growth has since fell off like it's rotting i don't know if this will even take we're gonna put it in the soil or in the moss just to see but i think that'll be spent so just put them in somewhere tuck them down into the moss i am trying my best to be a good camera woman but one-handed man and I'm gonna leave them there maybe cover this one a little bit more oh I'm like got all kinds of crazy stuff in here what is this? What is this? I don't know what this is marble queen probably who knows there's some peperomia right there I have those kind of, I don't really like where this one's at. I'm gonna move it there. And look at that, you guys. That is rotted. I need to cut that off. I will do that. We will get back to this guy. But we still have hope. I think, right there maybe? I don't know, it's not focusing. But I'm gonna take this, I have, 
my spray bottle and I'm gonna get it real good. And then I'm gonna take this, which is just some little uh, indoor plant fertilizer. You just spray it on the foliage and I'm gonna close it up. I'll put this guy in in a second. Sprayed that down. I did dump a little bit of water, like about a cup, a cup of water about that full. Dumped it in there and I'm just gonna leave it sit open like that until tomorrow. But this needs to be addressed. Look at how much dirt. Like why do I just throw crap around like that? I actually avoid coming in this room sometimes because it's really messy. This is the plant room where I kind of just put things wherever when things are doing bad. This is not doing bad. This is in here soaking up some sun. This is my Syngonium Aria. I think that's what it is. But very, very, very pretty plant. I'm kind of ashamed to come in here. There's like perlite dust and crispy leaves just laying around. Ooh, I do want to show you guys something though. This is my variegated string of hearts. Raylan, if you're watching, it's doing really, really good. I don't know when I should transfer it to soil, but I just had it in here and it has been growing very well. Good morning, you guys. It is about 7.30 in the morning on Saturday and I am getting ready to go plant shopping with my friend, Lindsay. But I kind of want to show you guys what I do every morning before I go to work or, you know, even on the weekend sometimes for my plants, something I do every morning. So let me turn this camera around so I can show you. Every morning when I get up, maybe not every morning, but every other day, I wake up and I turn my grow lights on. This is the one I turn on first. I think I'm going to leave these off for the morning. Sometimes I will wake up and good morning keeper i won't turn them on i mean the days are getting longer so sometimes i'll just let them soak up the natural light and then since we're still kind of in short days i will then supplement later in the evening with grow lights and then i just plug all my grow lights in get them ready for the day, get them some light. And like I said, I will do this maybe every other day, plug the grow lights in first thing, because if you have multiple grow lights in your house, your electricity bill will reflect that 100%. Now down to the basement. All right, don't mind my dirty basement. But first thing every morning before I go to work, I come in here and I check on my plants and, oh man, my voice, I'm still waking up. And I check on everything. Oh, I'm struggling. You know, just take a quick look at everything in here. Just real quick, I don't go through everything plant by plant. I just make sure nothing's crazy. And I turn it off. I have it all connected to this power strip click the switch and turn it off and that's that. The lighting down here is kind of weird but I do want to mention um, I plug these in in my basement every day because obviously they're in my basement they don't get any natural light from through windows or anything so I do run these grow lights every day and I choose to run them I turn them off in the morning before I go to work and when I get home from work I usually wait an hour or two and then I come downstairs check them again, turn it on, and that's when I'll plug in any fans or if I wanna run a little heater or anything, that's when I'll do that. When I'm home, I'll have them on when I'm home, just in case if anything crazy were to happen, I would be here. So yeah, but I'm gonna get ready. I need to go start my car and I need to head to Lindsay's cause we got places to be today. So be on the lookout for that. It probably won't be in this video, but I think I'm gonna make a video today, do some plant shopping, so.